Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings. Fly MacGuffin. Let's take a look at our situation since I haven't played in a couple of days. Uh, we got a Jerusalem crown. Um, we're at minus 1.1 reputation. That's, that's pretty good. Not enough that I would want to bother giving only another Duke title right now. Um, hmm. Oh, we got some rebellious people. We also accidentally vassaled the Count of Rugen last time. Uh, I, I, I thought he was asking for a, uh, a, uh, what's it called, a, a, an alliance. So I accepted. <sighs> Excuse me. And he was really asking to be become my vassal. So, whatever. Uh, he'll probably just break off. Um, oh, this guy's rebellious too, and he's not even in my bloodline. Um, is everybody rebellious? No. No, just... Just some of them. Any case... Uh, we'll let that shake that shake out by itself. It might be okay that this guy is rebellious, so I could uh, take his land back and give it to somebody in my bloodline. Obviously, that would entail some uh, some uh, you know reputation penalties, but that'll be you know that's all right. Uh, Upper Lorraine looks like it's part of France. Looks like it. Now uh, Europe's a mess. I don't want to be worried about it right now. The only part of Europe I really care about is this. And not even that so much. Anyway, um Jeez. Well, more of it's are getting real small now. Any case, uh I'm gonna start the game and see what happens. Looks like we lost our, our vengeful trait. Uh, we already lost it. Because we are a redeemed knight. Uh, we probably got it when we were murdering people. So I think that's the last the last murdering trait we still we had <laughs> from murdering people. Well now, this is actually exactly what I expected, surprisingly enough. Uh, our guy that we've always been allied with is wanting to ally with us again, so, you know, that's cool. <laughs> There's another rather nasty rumor circulating court about how lazy you are. We get the lazy trait, or this kid gets the lazy trait and has a 10% chance of getting stressed. And the answer is, but I'm not, but you do get the lazy trait. Okay, but you didn't get stressed. Hmm, <laughs> this could be fun. Your wife is spreading nasty rumors around the court. What about you around the court? And remember, we are our wife's rival because we kicked out her, her, her dude. So, we have a 25% chance of getting coward, which we already have, a 25% chance of getting lazy, 25% chance of getting cruel, which we already had, and a 25% chance of skeptical. The only one I really care about is skeptical, and that's the one we got, so that's not good. But we could get some extra taxes, and pause the game while we're talking. Uh... I don't want generous. I didn't lose the stability, so that's good. While I was watching this guy, looking at my reputation, he died. <laughs> and then his son came to power. Him. Um, so, send him some money. Alright. Oops. Alright, uh, 
our reputation is down to 0.5, so we need to think about stuff we're going to do. Um, we've got, I think, three, three potential crowns we can work for. Uh, and also we could, you know, get all of the rest of the Arabia or Jerusalem provinces if we really wanted to. Both of those have us exclusively attacking uh, Christians to get them. Uh, as does one of our other, one of our potential crowns, the Syria uh, crown, which is pretty much all in the hands of Christians. And is actually mostly converted to Christian. So, um... So, yeah, after that we have Mesopotamia, which is actually our near the nearest provinces are in the hands of Venice just like pretty much everything apparently uh, but we do have some people the vast majority of it is controlled by uh, by the Turks though so um, it doesn't actually go to this coast that's a very large a very large thing and pretty much everything is controlled by the Turks uh, the other option we have is Africa. Africa has a couple of provinces controlled by Christians right here that aren't part of some big empire. And then there's a few provinces here controlled by Muslims, and then there's a bunch controlled by the Pope. Oh, we're not going to attack the Pope for three provinces. Uh, we only need, I th think, four? Maybe, maybe less than that? Yeah. So I'm thinking we could get it with just these. And once we have the king title, we can start buttering these dudes up. Uh, we can actually start doing it now. Yeah. So that we can uh, get them to be our vassals. Um, obviously the problem is, is that they're not they're not uh part of our bloodline, but that can easily be, uh, remedied. Um, and at this point, you know, some of the outlying areas can, you know, not be part of our bloodline. That's alright. I mean, we've got this guy not being part of our bloodline. Although he's rebellious, so he might do something stupid. Um, so I think once my reputation drops down a little bit, I'm going to start invading these guys. Um, start with these two, since they only have one province apiece. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and get the king title for this guy. I doubt it. I'm not counting on it. Uh, that almost never happens. And then I can attack this guy. And then we get the Tlemkins over here. Where's the actual king of the Tlemkins? He's still here. Sultan, excuse me. Uh, he's allied with the Seljuk Turks. I'm not sure if the Seljuk Turks would really want to mess with me, uh, but they might. Uh, but I got a good buffer with the, the papal provinces right here uh, to protect me, so it's not a big deal. Uh, now, pretty much. Uh, this is Constantine, but I'm not going to get Constantine because the Pope controls, you know, the two provinces in Africa that I would get. So pretty much all of these are Tunis. Uh, even this one. Tunis is a big duchy. Excuse me. Um, so yeah. And I'll need... Six, which means I'll need four. I have one, so that would be these, these, these ones. Um. So yeah, uh, I could probably technically go now, uh, but since I kind of have a leeway to do it and a lot of piety, uh, I'd like to drop down to zero first so that I don't have to start giving provinces away. I will have to give some of them away, because I'm kind of close to my limit, I think. Yeah. 
So, and our next guy does not have 18, uh, 18 or 17 entry. So, 15. It's pretty close. Like I kept saying before, I want to build it for round 10 or or 12. I think I said 12. So yeah, yeah. And we still have some provinces that are sub, you know, sub two gold that we could give away without much, you know, hardship. We want to keep everything that's as good or better than that. So yeah, the heartland of, of Egypt and, you know, the heartland of Jerusalem. Probably Tunis. Tunis is really good. Uh, the rest of these are kind of crap, though. This one's not. That one is... That one's not crap, but... Anyway, I'll probably let it go down a bit. Maybe do about 0.3 if I get impatient. So, I'll be back when I decide to do something. I'm getting a lot of events for this bastard here. Uh, this is the one I that became deceitful and crap. Uh, peasants we have are all mine to command, like little slaves, right? Well, him being an 11-year-old boy, I doubt that most of the guys are little to him. We could say that's right, child, and he gets 40% chance of pragmatic, 40% chance of arbitrary, 20% chance of cruel. We could say, that's it, you're under curfew. 50% chance of generous, 30% chance of forgiving, 20% chance of romantic. Uh, pretty much all of these ones are positive with a big downside. Romantic's pretty bad, generous is real bad, forgiving's not so bad. This one, pra pragmatic, is pretty good. Uh, arbitrary is not so bad. I'll pick that one. He gets pragmatic, the best one. So, he likes slaves. And Inquisitors have gotten rid of the the heretics here. So that's great. They've been heretics for a long time. Um, that's good enough. So, I don't know if you remember, but this was like a a Cathar thing that happened a long long time ago and they've been there for like 20 years or something it's it's really really hilarious that they were there for that long anyway yeah um should be a couple months before I'm at point three and I am getting kind of impatient so I'll be back when something does something just as we were about to do stuff the Mongols showed up again Still bordering some of the uh, their uh, arch rivals, the uh, Cumans. I think I noted that last time that that guy was Jewish. They're both Jewish. Holy crap! Wow. I've never seen that. That's that's pretty incredible, actually. Huh. Anyway, that's not the important thing, although it is vastly more interesting than than uh Turks who might get smooshed as soon as they appear the Turks here. Uh, they have less men. Uh, let's see if they do any better. Uh, I kind of doubt it. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that the Mongols aren't doing better than they were. Uh, I could get a couple of disconnected guys and maybe get stronger. But, uh, I mean, if they just start going straight after, um, if they just start going straight after people, it's going to be, it's going to be a bit rough for them, which they'll most likely do. 